Dusty, uh, after uh, the big loss yesterday, how good was it to, to come back and get this win? Yeah, I mean, it was real big. I mean, it's a getaway day. You know, we won the, the series, which is tough to do here. And, uh, you know, Strauss wasn't real sharp, but we gave him a lead um, early, you know, like we're known to do. And, uh, you know, they helped us out in that first inning because they, you know, they're a very good defensive team. And, um, you know, any time you give away extra outs, which they actually, you know, gave us three outs in that first inning, uh, and, and then we capitalize on it. So, uh, you know, the guys feel very, very good about responding after yesterday's game. And, uh, you know, we wanted to, you know, to to score big to, just to make sure that they don't come back like they did last night. And uh, uh, it still still stings some, but it feels a lot better, believe me, today than yesterday. You guys have had, uh, you know, some ups and downs in offense the last several weeks, but, I mean, it seems like just floodgates just open from first first back to the, all the way through. Well, yeah, we've had ups and downs, but we had the one constant, you know, pitching in, in, in defense. And uh, uh, I've always said that this team is going to hit, and especially when the weather gets hot, that's hitters' time, you know. And you know, generally speaking, you know, um, the pitchers flourish more, you know, when it's when it's cold than you know when it's hot. But we had some guys swung the bat good. It was great to see, uh, you know, Harp. You know, he blew that single in there uh, early, and that's that's what got him going. And he hit hit a hit a home run, and so just sometimes, um, you know. That's what you need to get you going, and uh, you know we had some we had some guys had big days. I mean Murph was unbelievable. We we're pulling for him for the cycle, and uh, he needed a triple, which is hard to get. And uh, uh, you know he had four hits, and uh, we were pulling for a five for five, if not the cycle. Because I remember when uh, my teammate, you know, I was a coach then, but when uh, Chris Byer needed a triple. Uh, you know, his last at bat, and, and he got it. And so, but you rarely see that. And so, uh, like I said, these guys are going to Chicago. going to be a heck of a series, and uh, I'm just glad we got out of here uh, with the win today. Was it hard for Strasburg to go out there with a six-run lead? Or you... I don't know. I think, he, I think he'll take that every time. You know, uh, you know, he just wasn't sharp. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when you get a lot of runs in the first inning, you know, the pitcher's coming out of the bullpen and he sits around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think it was about a half an hour inning because mm -hmm. we batted around. That that's what was probably, you know, tough on him. Okay. But I mean, he'll. I think he'll. He and the other pitchers will take that every time. Make well, an adjustment. Yeah. Regardless of the rest of the lineup, and Murphy since day one has been hitting. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about his approach or his swing that like has maintained such consistency? Well, Murphy has an idea. I mean, he has a heck of an idea of what he's looking for. And, uh, you know, he splits the plate. He sees rarely fooled. Uh, you know, Murph, uh, Murph has an idea on what he's doing up there, and he's going to get better and better, and uh, he doesn't seem to be getting tired. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, you get tired making right turns going back to the dugout. To tell you the truth, I'm emotionally tired. So uh, just pulling for Murph, just keep it going. Hopefully our bats will stay hot through uh uh, you know Chicago because we got a you know a tough series there. You talked about coming into this the uh, significance of this road trip and kind of a measuring stick. Do you believe in the idea of making a statement as a team the way that you guys have played? Nah, I don't believe in that. You know people know we got a good team, and uh, you know you got to go out there and do it. You know number one, and uh, you know the next four days of the road trip are are the toughest because you know we hadn't been on a ten day road trip this year. And, uh, you know, the next, like I said, the next four, you know, you can't start thinking about home. You know, you got you to gotta play all the way through the, uh, the end of the road trip. And, uh, you know, as, as life is, you got to, you know, finish strong. That's what I tell my son all the time. You got to finish strong, whether it's in your homework, whether it's in your life work, or whether it's in baseball, you know, you got to finish strong. I mean, I remember Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, I mean, he had that flourish at the end. And he sway the judges. And this is what I use all the time, you know, like Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, he always finished strong. So were you Leonard and they were Hagler tonight? Mm -hmm. Were you, you Leonard and the Royals were Hagler tonight? Well, but Hagler's tough. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, uh, I like some Hagler, too, now. <laughs> Blake, Blake had a chance to pitch in front of some hometown fans yes. during the night. 
Can you just tell me how, how effective he's been for you and maybe how the important well, that was to get him in? Yeah, he's been he's been very effective for us. It worked out perfectly because, you know, he hadn't pitched, I think, in three or four days. And Petit hadn't pitched in nine days. And so that's, that, that, that was a way of, of getting our bullpen ready without over-pitching him going into Chicago. And I always like to play guys or pitch guys in front of their home, in front of their home folks. And... Uh, you know, the first game in here, I saw the signs over by our dugout, you know, for Trinan. Um, he told me he's from a, you know, uh, a small town, um, what, 2,500? You know, just like uh, Van Morrison says, you know, it's a, what do you say, a, a village uh, not quite large enough to be a town.